What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon, and you are watching one of the most inexperienced but honest LEGO YouTube channels in all of YouTube. Today, we are doing round three of our small sets. Today, we are focused on not just LEGO City, but the LEGO City in the Lego City studio, which is the town of Why Not that I am building. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna quickly say, if you guys like Lego builds and Lego City and Lego things and other little odds and ends, consider subscribing to my channel. If you guys like what you guys watch, tell your friends about what we're doing here. I would appreciate it. Now, let's kick off the bag of mystery. I believe we have about seven to eight sets today, and I am super excited to do this final review special. And with that, let's just go ahead. Here is the bag of mystery, and there's one that's not such a mystery that we're just gonna rip right off the top and get into. And that is going to be the new 60418, the Police Mobile Crime Lab truck. This is for the Lego City. I have some pretty morbid, but true to today's world type stuff I plan on doing with this. Last year, I believe they came out with the gamer truck and I was like, you know, the gamer truck is really cool, but gaming does not fit in with the Lego city. But a mobile crime lab definitely fits in with any city because, well, if you live in a big city, you guys already know mobile crime labs are important. I do like the minifigures. I like the little one in all white, looking like maybe that, that's the coroner. We do have the criminal. We do have a cop up here with a donut, a wanted poster. Looks like we have a little cool side build right here. They do make it look kind of happy and kind of hip. This, this is a smaller part of a bigger picture of crime-based Lego sets from the city theme this year. But this is the one that I can really utilize for a future vision for the Lego city. So with that, let's go and let's dive into the review of the Police Mobile Crime Lab truck. Now, reviewing the Police Mobile Crime Lab truck. This set does set you back about $55. It is averaged out at about 8.2 cents uh, price per piece. And this is the larger of the sets in the bag of mystery. Now let's just go ahead and let's just talk about some things and let's just, there's two sides of this story. The first side of the story is the Lego city theme as suggest on the box. There is a video series on these that you can easily follow the link right here. And it'll kind of tell you the minifigures names. It would tell you how the set works in with the other sets and so forth and so on. Unfortunately, I am not seven and older. Well, I am older than seven, but I'm not a, a kid. So thus, I don't really need to watch how to play pretend with my mobile crime lab uh, police truck. This is going to go for a whole nother purpose. This is just a base for something that I want to do and a starting point. So we're not going to talk about the actual Lego City intentions with this set for the kids. It is my intentions with this set. Diving into the minifigures, we have a criminal, two police officers. It looks to be a forensics specialist and then a person with a phone and some headphones. From what it seems like, this person rides on this thing to help this guy get away but that's following their rules. My intentions for these minifigures are these three will stick and serve with the truck. These guys will go in other places of the Lego city. They do not have to stay with the set. Other things that don't have to stay with the set for my intentions with them is this thing. Now this is some type of jailbreak contraption. You, it does lift up for you to get a crowbar and do your business. There is a pair of handcuffs stuffed back behind the fern, the fern elements and some of those little yellow chalk line card things where they highlight forensics evidence. Not really quite sure what all that is supposed to do, but to me, that looks like a parts pack. And I do plan on doing some stuff with these cool little grading elements on the side for another project coming up on the channel. But that's just going to be parts. Same thing with this basket. Again, it has a camera, cuffs, a magnifying glass, and another one of those yellow little cheese slopes that are used to point out the forensics evidence. 
There is this little light, again, to highlight a crime scene that I might use, but the main focus is the truck. So let's go ahead, let's just check out the truck and let's stop focusing about this stuff that doesn't matter. Just clear out our minifigures. I will use the quad build for something else in the city. So the truck is pretty much what it looks like. You can open up the back. That is a holding cell for a prisoner with a little keypad. There is a satellite telecommunications dish. The truck does have that neon city bright green coming down the side and has the police and the forensics stickers on the sides. You can put a minifigure in the cab just by lifting up the front. Nothing too exciting there. And it just has its futuristic looking front end with an all blue bar. Kind of like how electric vehicles are doing to this day. And then over here we do have doors that open up. And they open up actually on both sides, like so. So you can get straight through. More of that bright neon yellow green color. But this is where the party happens. This actually locks down with some stud tiles up here at the top. So you can open this up. That's what it looks like from the outside. But on the inside, you can take a look. We have some wanted posters, clearly of the bad guy. Then we have something going on over there that looks like the crowbar from the set over here being used in a crime. Maybe they hit it. A map of some of the crimes. We have keyboards, mice, seating areas, coffee, donuts. I guess this person working doesn't get a coffee, but yet they do, vice versa. They get a donut, they don't. They Here we have some forensics going. Looks like a coffee maker in the forensics lab. And then we have some forensics stuff here, a microscope here, and then a little tan thingamajig right over there. I thought this, this had more detail, but not really. And there is also some stairs to get into the lab. So that's about it for this. It is really good size. It is a little bit larger than six studs. I believe it comes in about eight studs wide, but you have to think a big truck like this would be wider than a car, so 100% acceptable. And I cannot wait to eventually do what I want to do with this in the Lego City as far as a CSI crime scene. So with that, let's get back to the bag of mystery. Now, diving into the bag of mystery. As you guys know, the bag of mystery took a hurtin' on the last video. The handle broke off and it went splat on the floor. So now I gotta do this one-handed thing. So, our next set of the Bag of Mystery is going to be our Friends' Wiener. Oh, wait, no. The, it is going to be the Hot Dog Food Truck. Now, this is a friends theme set. It is new to the year. This is a 100-piece set. It is a four and older set. So, you guys may be wondering, why the hell is an A-Fold doing with a four and older hot dog set from friends the reason is is i want to try to either use it how it is or turn it into something that would be good for either in or around the amusement park maybe parking in the parking lot of the amusement park so after a long day at the mora lego amusement park you're coming out to your car you're a little hungry well grab a wiener and calm down to be worked in but for now let's go ahead let's dive into the review of this set now we are looking at the hot dog food truck this is a $20 set. It is only 100 pieces, thus giving it a ridiculous price per piece at 20.0 cents. This thing needs a lot of work. Now, as you can see from the box, I've already altered this set. It is a very basic child's based set and I have a lot to work on with this. This by no means is the, is the permanent product. This is the temporary product. I did recondition the chairs and the tables and the juice makers to make various, you know, sink and dispensers and money station over here, ketchup bottles. I got one of every flavor, hot dog, yellow, red, and black. I don't know if you want to eat a black hot dog, but put the option there. I put the green along here, got rid of the pink bar, tried to do my best. I took all the extra hot dogs. I crammed them in the refrigerator. I put a little stool inside. If, if you want to take a look, you can see how I got that going on. Then I have a little juice dispenser off to the side here. Kind of made it better with what it gave me. 
but I have a lot more work to, to do on this one. But this is a very basic set. It's clearly made for four and older. I will never do this again, but I will make this one work for the time being. Other than that, it's probably good for a four-year-old. Not good for what I had in mind with the amusement park. For now, let's go back to the bag of mystery. Back to the bag of mystery. We are just gonna reach in and pull out a set. Ooh, this is one that I like. This is going to be 60404, the burger truck. This 194 piece set is just, it looks bad ass to be honest with you guys. It does look like it uses a 50s style truck as its base with a burger style cab on the back for you to make burgers and stuff. We have a minifigure with a flaming burger on its torso. Looks like an apron. And then we have another guy running with a brick built hamburger and he is just happy as all can be. I am super excited for this set. This is what the Lego City has been needing and I cannot wait to build it. One of the coolest things about this set is you can actually detach the burger from the truck itself. You still have a cool truck build at the end of it all, but you also have the burger off to the side. So you don't always need your burgers served on your truck. There's not much more to say about this one other than let's go and review it. Now, reviewing one of the most, in my opinion, likely the best set besides the Crime Lab is going to be this burger truck. When I saw them coming out with this one, I was super excited about it. So I'm gonna try to make this review not biased at all. This one does set you back about $20 and it does have a 10.3 price per piece ratio. The really cool thing about this is it's all printed elements, no stickers. So that is a huge plus. We do get the minifigures of the grill cook and the customer wearing a vinyl t-shirt. Looks like he has a hearing aid in his ear. And he's got that big juicy burger with lots of little detail packed in there. Kicking the minifigures out of the way, we have the truck. Now the burger does come off the truck just like so. Looks like we got some ketchup. And then the top of the truck or the burger stand does come off to some pretty minor details. The retro food truck definitely has more grill details than this. It says burgers, printed element. Then the truck itself is pretty cool. Gotta be careful when touching this because these flames are hot going around. I really like the old 50s style. It's really narrow here, high at the top. It's, it's pretty tricked out. And I just really think this is a really cool set. And you can easily slap the burger on and it stays on pretty good. Really happy with this one. I like it a lot. Lego did a good job. Let's get back to the bag of mystery. Now back to the bag of mystery. What are we going to get? Let's reach in. Ooh, we got a small box. I said we had a small box, not smallpox. This is 60399, another four and older set that's kind of corn dog for me to have. But last July, when I went to my first lug meeting, I won the 2023 version of this car, and I put it next to the Haunted Mansion. I found out that they made a 2024 version of it. This one's gonna go right next to it. It's just the little race car, four and older, 56 pieces, nothing too special to write home to your mom about with it, but it will look really cool to have two of these four and olders as kind of a side attraction in the amusement park. With that, let's just go ahead and let's dive into a quick review of this set. Here we have another four and older Lego City set. This is the race car set. This is just an updated version of the one that we had last year that was also a four and older 56-ish piece set. It does come with the camera guy minifigure and a very similar, if not identical, trophy to the one we got last year. The build is pretty sporty, but very basic. You know, a lot of exposed studs. It is all printed elements though, so that is a positive thing. Now this set does set you back only $10 at a rather expensive 17.8 cents per piece, but you know what? It's only 10 bucks, it's not that bad. I don't have much more to say about it other than it's only here because it does have a counterpart already in the amusement park that I can't wait to put them all together. So with that, back to the bag of mystery. And now back to the bag of mystery. What do we have? Let's reach in. Oh, we got another small box. This is the 
60400. This is the go karts and race drivers. This 99 piece set is five and older, so not in the four plus range at least. As you guys know, in the Mora Lego Amusement Park, I do have a little go-kart track, and I'm always looking for ways to upgrade and do things differently. And I figured for the price of this set, which I think was like around $10, it would not hurt to try these go-karts out in comparison to the ones I got from the Legoland set. Nothing too special. The go-karts do look a little detailed with miniature motors. It does come with two minifigures. With that, let's just go ahead and let's just dive into the review of this set. Next to review is going to be the go-kart and race drivers. Again, just like with the prior set, it's pretty basic. This one does set you back at about $10. Again, 10.1 cents per piece average on this set. With this one, we do have some really nice detailed carts that are heavily opposite in style of one another. This one has a little simple design for the engine and a rather cute retro looking minifigure, again with a retro color scheme. All printed elements, which is really nice. We do have a little trophy, nothing much to talk about. Then here we have more of a neon, still all printed elements, but this is more of your darker variety. And I like the little red air filter for the little engine, but as you can see, the engine styles are different. Now, these are just for the amusement park in the Lego City. Maybe, maybe I'll have another thing that these can go into. We'll see. I like them, and I hope I can find a good use for them. With that, back to the bag of mystery. Back to the bag of mystery. What are we going to do? Uh, oh, we got a bag inside of a bag. Now, this is a wild card right here. This is the 2020 city ice cream truck if you guys watch my videos you guys will know that I, that i recently visited my bricks and minifigs on their one year anniversary and i picked up a few sets this set being one of them i decided to throw it into this video because we're doing city sets not a 2024 set by any means but it is a city set for the lego city i could not think of a better place to put it i don't have the sticker pack for this set yet Maybe by the time this video wraps up, I will have the stickers on it for the review. But worst case of scenario, it'll be a naked ice cream truck that we review. We can use our imaginations for the stickers. So now let's snap to the review and hopefully it's not naked, but if it is, it is. Now the random to review is the ice cream truck from 2020. Now this set did cost about $20 brand new, about 10 cents price per piece new. But now a used one like this will set you back at about $15, like, which is what I paid for this one. Now, I don't have the stickers on it yet, so it's a little naked. You know, it's all okay. By the time this video comes out, I should be putting the stickers on it, but that is too late for the video. So one thing with this set is it did come with not one, but two, but three minifigures. Turns out the third minifigure, after doing a Google image search, it is not from this set. It's actually from the Tuners set. So that minifigure has gotten lost, put into the Lego City. Minifigures are a very useful commodity for my Lego City right now. So you know what? An extra minifigure is all okay. But we do have the vendor. We do have the consumer on the little skateboard. And other than that, it's just a basic truck. The windows slides open just like so for the vendor to work. To actually get to actually use some play with the truck, you can't open it up like this. And thus you can see ice cream all stocked inside, ready to go, a little cash register. I really like the, the colors of this, but I do have to say, until it gets all of its stickers on, it looks kind of like a clown car. So with that, I'm just gonna leave this to be because it's kind of hard explaining an ice cream truck when it looks like a clown car, but the stickers will come when this video comes out. So it is what it is. Back to the bag of mystery. The bag of mystery is almost completed its journey. Several, several sets have gone through the bag of mystery. And now we're down to the final couple. What will we prevail from inside? Oh, it's another friend set. Friends, how many of us have them? Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, 42606. This is the Mobile Bakery Food Cart. 
Not too much to really talk about with this one. It seems really basic, 125 pieces, six and older. If you guys can put two and two together, can you just guess where this is gonna go? If, if you guess the amusement park, you would be correct. I am always trying to find a ways to get little weird food carts and things into the amusement park. Things will be changing with, with the park this year, and we will want to fill some space that does get created eventually. And sets like this will do the part just fine. So with that, let's go ahead, let's dive into the review of this set. Now reviewing the mobile bakery and food cart. This is an $11 set at an 8.8 uh, cents per piece average. Like with the wiener truck, I did make some modifications. First modification I made, goodbye to the mini dolls. We don't play with those. I also sent the mascot packing as well. So the mascot, the mini dolls, those all went in with my daughter's uh, play sets as well as the fairy tale book on the box. Homie don't play that, homie don't need that. I also switched out these pastel elements just for a coin, kind of adulted up a little bit. I did keep the, the little drink to put right here with the pastry. There is a fat cat guarding the set. Again, that's the one that goes with that set. And then this one was supposed to have the dog, but I switched them out. I also kind of modified the coffee maker to be able to fit a cup underneath. Then I did put the drip rail up at the top instead of having it at the bottom. That way, like I said, you can have the cup there if you want. Other than that, it's a super basic set. Again, I'm making little modifications to kind of get the girly friends thing off of it so I can use it in the amusement park of the Lego City. So with that, we have one more set in the bag of mystery. Final from the bag of mystery is going to be this set. But first, let's say la vie, the bag of mystery, and let's send it into history. Or more or less into the trash, because that bag is trashed. I'm gonna to have to have my kids drop another bag of mystery sign for the next round when we get more small sets, because I definitely didn't draw that sign. Anyway, we have 60438, the sailboat. As you guys know, you watch my videos, I picked this up a few weeks ago. And it's just an experiment. Will this look good in the Lego city in the ocean? I don't know, but I do plan on making some changes in this year to the Lego ocean as well. And maybe it'll fit in then if it does not now. It's only a 102 piece set. I do wonder if this is one of the ones that are made to float because they do have Lego city sets that are boats coming out that are made to float. Maybe this is one of them and maybe we, we can float our boat. With that, there's not much more to say about the sailboat. Let's just go ahead and let's dive into the review of this set. Now, reviewing the sailboat. Now, this set does set you back about $20 US, and it does have a high price per piece at 19.6 cents. You do get these two minifigures. Looks like a little girl with a camera and a purplish pinkish outfit. She is wearing her life vest but I think she's wearing it backwards because I think I put it on backwards. Why did I do that? Never mind. She does have a camera, like I said, and then we have what looks to be the adult in that striped shirt with these little sand green pants. He is wearing his life jacket in the correct orientation, and they are accompanied with this cool little dolphin. Now with the set, it is a very basic set. The top does come off to reveal the interior, which is basically none. We do have a captain's helm back here with a little compass and a life raft with a few places to sit with some studs right there in the back. We do have a little prop here in the back to help direct the boat, but most of everything is just for show. This thing does have a high uh, price per piece because of such elements as the fully molded dolphin and the plastic sail, but the biggest thing with this set is actually the bottom. The bottom of the boat is made to float, so you can float your boat. As you can see, it comes apart just like that. Now, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I did not try to float said boat? Let's go get a bucket of water. We have our bucket of water, and the, and the boat is floating, but it looks like it doesn't really want to float that well. I don't know how much you guys can see in there, but it is leaning really hard to that side. The dolphin does not really float. 
Go down, dolphin. You you belong in the water. If you push this down, does it come back up? Nope, it just capsizes. Oh boy, we got water in the vessel. Can we completely submerge the vessel? Something's keeping it up. There is a pocket of water somewhere. Up oh, there it goes. You can see the bubbles. You know what? For the sake of YouTube, let's take out the um the children, so I don't get canceled. It, everyone's okay with the with the adults drowning, right? So if you tilt it like that, we can get it down to the bottom. No, see, it doesn't want to fully sink. I can feel the air moving around. I won't be happy until it's at the bottom of the bucket. Let's see if we can force a sinking. There we go. Break the bottom loose. Make sure we get all that air out. No, I don't think it's going to actually fully sink, and it's just going to capsize. It does float. It won't sink, so I guess that's a good thing. Back to the studio. So here we have all of our sets. You guys know the drill. We're going to put them all the way now. Starting off... It's going to be the burger truck. And the burger truck is going to go right there for now in the Lego City. Next up is going to be the ice cream van. It's just going to stay right there. Let's go and do the green race car. And if you could guess, it's right next to its earlier counterpart. Now sticking to a similar theme, let's do the go-karts. And because I'm still trying to figure out if I want to put them in with this, I'm just going to set them up there for now in front of the loop coaster. Now, let's go and do one of the harder ones, which is going to be the crime lab. And the crime labs is going to be situated right here, right next to the amusement park. It does look like the criminal in that car tried to get away, and there was a murder. Next up is the hot dog truck. So I'm just going to hide that hot dog truck over here by the haunted mansion until I figure something out to do with it to make it better. Next up is going to be the mobile bakery cart. And I just stuck that down there. I want to get it over there one day but i can't reach over there right now and last but not least let's do the sailboat and the dolphin and for now we're just going to stick that right there that does it for that well everybody we are out of sets and we're all placed into the lego city what a massive small set showcase these last three videos were i cannot believe how many sets we've actually gone through we have actually gone through enough sets to almost make $5 worth of rewards points at 20 cents per book. That is bananas. So at about 300 to 400 worth of sets, we made $5 back by registering our sets. Like with the last video, I now have to recycle all of the boxes, piling them all up nice and high. With that one, everybody, I just want to say you can hit the thanks button down below. When you do, you can leave a little donation. It goes to all Lego stuff, just like what's around me. Anything you guys do is appreciated. With that, if you guys just want to support the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Just by hitting subscribe, it is super appreciated because that is pushing us ever more towards our goal of making this channel successful. I appreciate all you guys watching. Tell your friends about what we're doing here. Up next, we're going to start talking about that Lego city. And then after that, we got some myth debunking on cardboard minifigure boxes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. <laughs>